I'm going to show you two examples of how to organize your class pages. Um, the first one is a little bit more uh, complex and there's more stuff that I'm putting in. The second way is a little bit simpler. But first, before we dive into that, there is one final step we have to do before students can see the class page. Notice that all of these pages are published. And yet, if I log in as a student, it says this class isn't active yet. What that means is there is a final step we have to perform so that students can access our course page. To perform the final step, click here on Manage Class, not Manage Page. I mix those up a lot. Manage Class, and at the very bottom, you click this button that says Make Active. We will make it active forever. And I want this to be visible to other teachers at, the, uh, at Sacred Heart Academy, so I'm going to click this option, then I click Save. And I see now that the course is active. So if I go back to the student view and refresh the page, bam, here we go. So now I'll take you through the organizational structure I've set up for this page. Most of the course is empty. Um, it's just empty pages here. But I will show you the structure and a couple pages that do have content. First, I have a home page. So this is a welcome message, and I like to put a lot of tips, maybe overload them with tips and uh, study habits, you know, given how hard the course is. I've got important files over on the right side here that they need to download. I have extra resources if they need extra help. These are links to YouTube channels, and they're cut off the text, but if I hover over, then I can see the full text. Then over on the side, I have essentially folders. They're not folders, they're pages, but they act like folders because they organize with levels. So if I click this arrow, this left arrow, uh, well, rightward pointing arrow, I expand everything inside of Unit 1 page. The first thing I see is the Unit 1 Day 1. I have a page for Day 2 and for every day in the unit. I have a page for general files and articles, resources. Then I have another page for test information. Uh, so if I click on Unit 1 Day 1, Here's everything I'm going to put in this page. I have my agenda. I have my homework for the, uh, for the night. Maybe another idea uh, that uh, one of our math teachers had was put the, the actual date. You know, what day was this class? Was it March 3rd, uh, August you know, 21st? And that way students who are absent can easily see what they missed. So, uh, which is a great, great idea. Uh, you might also post, you know, if a student did some great work on the board and you want to preserve that work, you can take a photo and put it right here, post it up to the page. So this is actually, I think, better than Schoology. Back at, with Schoology, you would open up the folder and then there would be like 15 files or something, and one would be some text that had this. So I think this is a nice way to present the information to students. Once I acclimate, I think I'll prefer this system. The organization uh, is, well, there's more, there are more options for organizing, but at the end of the day, I think I'm going to like this, uh, ultimately. So that's what I put in each of these days. Just very basic agenda, homework. If there was anything else to add, I would put that here. So this is, this is the plan. You know, as I send out notes about the homework, because I'm always making mistakes or saying, oh, whoops, I forgot to teach this. So I'll post, you know, I send them an email with some updates or extra information. And now I can just post that right here, update one, update two. So I like this structure. The other way that we can organize our class page is with a simpler structure. So you see now I have unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, but there's nothing inside. Um, this is the teacher view, so remember I've got these extra buttons now that students won't see. But what I, what I include here is um, you know, class files for this whole unit. Maybe I have a file for notes, uh, an article that I attach, some photos that I want them to see of, you know, examples of Newton's first law. And then in the main view here, I have the different homework assignments that I've posted. Now, obviously, they wouldn't all have the same due date, but that's, that's that. So this is another way to, to structure it, and perhaps a simpler way. You don't have to have anything here at all. If you want to treat this simply as a folder, you can just post files exactly as we did before. Here's an example of that. I've actually moved the files block from over here. I've clicked and dragged over, and I deleted the assignments. Maybe you want this box to extend all the way across the page. So I can click Manage Page, Page Layout, and choose just a single column for the whole thing. 
and now those blocks will stretch all the way to the right. In essence, I can just continue adding files here like we did with Schoology, and this essentially is just a folder that holds the files. So these are the different ways you might choose to organize your class page. Uh, we started kind of with the most complex and drove down to simpler and simpler.